Okay, welcome to today's episode. Hopefully it'll be an episode, I don't know. It's my first find of the day. Got permission at this house and uh, just started actually. That far off the sidewalk coming this way. And, good sign, popped a little wheat scent. And it's a uh, fairly old one I think, uh, 41 maybe. But a wheat scent just the same, about four inches deep. So, that's a good sign. We'll see what else we can get. Only got a couple hours before I gotta go to do my show. So. Hopefully we can get on some goodies. Okay, my second decent target is this pretty cool lock key. Chicago lock. Got some age to it. Got a, some, an interesting keyed pattern. Uh, pretty neat. I don't know what the numbers are. Identify some lock somewhere. Really close to the railroad. Not sure if you can hear it going by right now, but hopefully find some old railroad relics as well. We'll see. I haven't done a live dig in a long time, but got a good dime signal. A little bit of depth, not a ton. But it's 1345, so I thought we would dig it together. It's right down here. Ground digs good in this yard so far, anyway. I'm getting a little bit closer to the roots. I thought we'd just try and see if we couldn't maybe pop a silver. I'm hoping it's a silver. Probably not, but guy can dream. Check it with my detector real quick. I didn't get over far enough. I was wondering if I was shorting myself. Let's see if we can get it up the sidewall though with the pinpointer. It's not very deep. That's not good. Could just be clad. There it is right there. No, nope. yep. Whoa. It is. It's just clad. It is a dime, though. So, live dig on a clad coin. You can't beat that. Woohoo! Well, I got close on a complete skeleton key. Off of Purdy. A bunch of other stuff in the hole with it. Um, a lot of screws, about the same size, so it was a screw spill. With this in as well. So we'll keep going. Just curious. That's all. Just curious. The old 1246, 1247 signal on the CTX. Spare tire on the back is pretty sweet. Old time looking car. I don't know that it's that old, but not sure. Anyway, love the 1246, 1247s. Woohoo! Okay, I finished the front part on the right side as you're facing the house. Working this side area over here. Went one pass down, coming back. I uh, found that car, and then I popped a wheat scent. So. Not sure. I think it's a 50s model just in the look of it, but not 100%, but wasn't very deep, so hopefully we can get on something good. We'll see. Okay, I'm a sucker. I'm telling you, I'm going to do another live dig. 1245, 1346 on the CTX. Good signal. Could be a car. You never know. Toys. Whatever, but I wanted to see if we could expose one live, maybe. Found a couple weedies, there could be a silver in here, you never know. 11.47, probably is a car. good that it's not a powerful signal on my pinpointer. It means it's a little bit smaller. Let's see if we can get to it now. Well, I did center it. Well, there it is. I see discoloration. You see it? There's a coin and it's a clad quarter. Oh, yeah. 
It's an old one anyway. You got the eagle on the back. So keep going. Hopefully we'll find something old. I never thought I'd say this, but there are just too many coins in this yard to hunt. <laughs> I know that sounds silly, but there are so many stinking pennies. And uh, so I've worked the sidewalk strip down now. I've come down one pass and made the turn here and did just pop a wheat cent. 44D wheat cent. And that's about going to do it for me. I'm going to work my way back to the truck, which is just right there. So um, we'll see what else we can get. Uh, but that's probably going to do it. Probably couple this one with another hunt. Well, Mikey and I are out hitting it today. And Mikey got us the first position, uh, per, I mean, second permission. I got the first one, which was filled dirt. Anyway, hunting this house, old historic district. I can show you on the side the old foundation is what they look for. Just dug the plug and popped it out. My first target from this yard is a wheat scent. I believe it's a 50s model, but I'm having trouble seeing it. I get it in the shade a little bit more. Yeah, anyway, you can see it, but it is a wheat scent just the same. So we'll keep going. Alrighty, I'm on my second pass and uh, came down this side right here, worked it down to the house, working my way back, and I had a uh, <laughs> what I call a token signal, a 1230, 1231, 1232, which I like to dig, had some depth to it, and it was actually way back in there. So it's a little bit off on my cutting of my plug, but it's a Gurney 2141. I have no idea what that means. So it's a pretty thin token. Don't know if it's a bag check or a worker's check. Uh, not sure, but cool find. Tickled always to have the old tokens. We'll keep going and see what else we can get. Well, I finally made it to the midway point of my side of the yard. I uh, came down through. i uh, been talking with the landowners. I actually got permission to hunt the house next door, which was a 1929 model with a monstrosity of a tree in front. So. But I did just pop some play money. I hate these things. They ring up good. But it is play money for sure. I think it's the dimer. I've got one that's got a hedgehog on it. I'm not sure what this one has on it. But anyway, it's a cool find. Enjoy finding the old toys. We'll keep going. Okay, I just hit a pocket with quite a few signals. Um, just pulled from here. Um, this is the thing I'm going to show you. I also pulled a live 22 round from there. But pulled a little bling. It's kind of cool. A little earring. Uh, it's not precious, but still a cool find. So there's still some more uh, somewhere right in here. So we're going to double check after we put the plug back in and see if we can maybe get the matching set. Okay, went from here with the earring and the 22 shell to here with the ugly Chevrolet key. I have never seen one like that. I don't know. Yeah, it's a key. Might be able to age this one because that is one fantastic key. Woohoo! Okay, I moved around to the back uh, backyard of the house, the first house we hunted. This house over here got permission, but there's really not any place to hunt. He's got a bunch of landscape stuff, and, and uh, so came to this backyard. Uh, a lot of targets, but man, I tell you, I've never seen anything like this. This is made out of tin. I mean, it is so bendable. It looks like a spoon. So I don't know if it was a sugar spoon or had to be for something lightweight, but that's cool. I straightened it out. It was bent over right here. I straightened it out, but that's cool. Uh, maybe copper, real thin copper. I'm not sure. I'm going to clean it up, though, when I get home. Check it out. Well, I'm starting to get into some relics now. This is actually... Uh, if you've watched more of my other videos, this is the third Princess Pat compact that I have found. So, Princess Pat had a little market going here in southwest Missouri. Woohoo! If you ever get a chance, look up the story on it. It's a pretty good success story. We'll be back. Alright, I'm just piddling around here in the backyard. Uh, been around, just, I mean, just, it's a big yard for me to do on my own and we're running out of time, but it did just pop. What appears to be either World War II or World War One. It's a great seal. Um, I'm not sure it's a button. Doesn't look like to be a button. Uh, 
um, and I don't see a hasp or something to make it a medallion, but anyway, cool, fine. We'll see what else we can get. Kids scrunched it up pretty good, or a lawnmower hit it, one of the two, but we'll keep going. I tell you, it's been fun. Uh, the owner of this house, her son, who is uh, probably mid-50s, I would guess, uh, has been following me around telling me about when they grew up and uh, apparently there's some money buried over here I looked over the fence and there's a car park right where it would have been buried but I uh, love hitting the backyards of kids that grew up in the 60s and uh, just got a 1346 signal and as you can see oh it just broke apart and as you can see though an old cap gun so love finding these old toys might leave that for him um, not sure it can be cleaned up, but not sure what that's got on there. It looks like cattle horns. I think. I'm not sure. Can you tell what it is? It's an ugly cow if it is. There we go. It's a longhorn. I'm believing. So that's a better look at it, probably that way. Anyway, love finding the old toys. About out of daylight. It's going down. We got a Christmas party tonight, so uh, for the relic 417 relic hunters, so we're going to get that all cleaned up and ready to go. So if I find anything else, I'll let you know. I just have to say you don't find these every day in someone's backyard. It's an old timer there, and it's heavy. Got to be at least an ounce. That whole thing is lead. Except for the hooks, of course. Cool fine, though. Almost out of time. Sun, she be going down. I don't find buckles like this very often. This resembles a shoe buckle. But not real familiar with them. So, anyway, it's cool fine. Pressing on. Until we run out of dark. Or light. Actually, we want to run out of light, not dark. Either way, I've rambled on enough.